channel, excuse me for having a bit of a cold, um, so if I'm sniffly, that's why. But um, I'll be using a brand that I used pretty recently, but it's the official version. to be uh, uh, Silisky Soaps Midnight Tunisia. This will be one of two videos that I make. Um, I got I received this in a pass around in a Facebook group. Um, their owner, Andrew Silisky, um, provided to th this soap, uh, Midnight Tunisia, and um, Appalachian Forest in a pass around uh, to about 10 of us. And so we'll be... Um, trying them out and talking about the results and then sending them to the next person. Slisky Soaps, if you didn't watch the previous video, is they are from uh, Murraysville, Pennsylvania. And they've been around uh, since early this year. Is They've not been around, I think, more than eight months. It's they're pretty new to the scene. There are, and if you watch the previous video, that I, that was a prototype that I was using. So this is their uh, first release base. And um, it is not a vegan base, but it's not a tallow base, base either. The reason why I say it's not vegan is because... Uh, at the end of the ingredients list, I'll just read it off right now. Saponified cocoa butter, cocum butter, mango butter, shea butter, castor oil, jojoba oil, stearic acid, fragrance oil, sodium lactate, and tussa silk. Tussa silk is produced by a larva from several species of moths. Um, and so you can't really call it vegan if it uses any type of animal product. And as an animal product, so it's not vegan. But it's not in tallow. But... The last base I used, um, I'm not sure if it was tallow or what, but I was pretty impressed with it. It was, um, it wasn't like I wouldn't call it like elite, but it was still it was in the upper upper realm. But I would say it was it was better than sterling at least, or at least on par with that. Their uh, main their mutton tallow base that I like so much. So it was very good. So I'm excited to give this a go. So. Um, We'll get the lathering and the scent profile description underway, so don't go away. As you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt, have more of a beard, have more hair, and uh, <laughs> um, it's because uh, when I shot those intro videos, those, that was a pass around. I had to have those out within a week, and um, my, you know, my sinuses were clogged. Um, I'm still rather sick, if you can hear my voice, <clears throat> but um, I just didn't have the senses to just adequately describe the scent, so I'm mostly cleared out now. I just got some uh, dregs here in my chest. But um, yeah, we'll get it going now. So uh, that was a pass around, so I had to be out the door, and uh, so I just took pass around etiquette. You take out samples, so I had the sample. So I just wanted to be able to show you the container in the video, and it's long gone now. The scent is very familiar to me. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I've smelled something like it before. It may have been, I had some Crown and Crane samples. I didn't use all of them. But, um, there's there's some common elements between this and something I used from Crown and Crane. Um, I'll put that in the video later if I, forget, if I remember the, if I remember it before I post the video itself. But trythatsoap.com has a few so it's listed with common ingredients or scent ingredients, but nothing above 35%. So I don't know if that's worth even mentioning. So um, I can put, I'll put the try that soap link down below in the description. You can look for yourself. <clears throat> but the scent, scent list is a little long. It's rather complex accord. Um, I read someone else's description that um, he was uh he was doing some work in Tunisia, and uh, he had, uh, when he dropped in, I think it was back in May, he dropped in, and um, the drop zone area smelled kind of like this soap here, so I'll just get the um, scent notes here for you. It's a floral scent, so there's jasmine, sandalwood, cedar, grape, berries, clove, vanilla, and tuberose. Now, um, I don't like florals in general. This is, this is okay for me. I think if it did not have the sandalwood and cedar in there and the berries, it would be a little off-putting for me because I don't, I'm not a, a fan of jasmine in general and I just don't like florals. Uh, the only florals I tend to like are um, um, the lavenders. Uh, it opens up, I mean, the florals hit you in the face. The mixture there of the, the jasmine really is prominent. But the, ba the grape and berries are also present and they round out the accord and the, uh, Sandalwood and cedar curb the feminine femininity 
of the florals in there. The jasmine is there also to kind of round it out. Um, so it's fruity floral with a little bit of woodsiness in there, woodiness. And uh, I think given all of those uh, scent notes, I think it was crafted to be a unisex scent. It's not overly masculine or fe feminine. Um, excuse me, has a little bit of a <laughs> belch there. And uh, it's very fragrant. A lot of people like it. It's got covers is really nice if you can see it. It's got a sheen to it already. So yeah, I'm probably doing a garbage job of uh, describing this. If you've tried any of those before, um, I don't smell tuberose or clove in it. I think they're just blended in there to help uh, curb the floral notes but uh yeah jasmine sandalwood grapes and berries are the most present you can you can hear you can detect here you can't hear smell you can detect the vanilla kind of working its way through the fragrance and doing its job and grounding it all so first pass with my uh, sheridan brand new crystal platinum blade All right, excellent first pass. Residual slickness is very, uh, <clears throat> for non-tallow based soap, I mean, it's very, very good. <clears throat> um, upper echelon e even. Remember, it's not vegan, but it's high butter, and it's uh, non-tallow, but it does have that. The tussle silk disqualifies it from being vegan, but it gives it that silky feel to it. The lather is just very nice. Um, I didn't find it to be overly thirsty, but you do need to add enough water to keep it from drying on your face. As you saw, I kept, but I didn't add, it was only like just the very tips of my brush. I didn't like soak my brush. So excellent first pass. Actually, I don't need to go over my neck again. So I'll just do some cleanup and then we'll talk about the end results here. With the high butter, butter content and after that first pass, I can already tell the post is going to be awesome. The, uh, I have no problems with the slickness at all. It's very good. Um, residual sickness is also very good as you could tell earlier so um, all in all can't complain at all I think this is an underrated soap especially for not being tallow so it blurs the line definitely oh yeah <laughs> y'all usually don't see that I usually uh, I'll shave right there too but I, I do that off camera most days so it's a little embarrassing um, yeah great shave uh, I, I'm not going to use a post shave product you could absolutely skip it um, all the butters took care of my skin I feel like I've already used balm a very nice, um, excellent slickness, excellent um, residual slickness. Um, <clears throat> the uh, I felt I thought the lather was kind of mid mid grade. Like, um, <clears throat> what am I trying to say? It's like between high construct and low construct. It's like in between. It resembles Cool Whip, and uh, very sh shiny and slick feeling, and just silky. That's from the Tusk of Silk. Very nice lather, um, nice feeling, very good coverage. Didn't take a whole lot of water to use. You just want to make sure you keep it hydrated so it doesn't dry on your face. I really liked it though. Um, thank you to Andrew Selisky for providing the uh, the two jars for the pass around. Um, next week I will be using Appalachian uh, Forest and uh, that's a tree scent that's more up my alley so expect, a, uh, expect me to enjoy that one a little more than this one. Um, floral, florals are fine for most people and the, 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 wood, the wooded notes and the scent took care of me but um, um, you know, it is what it is. It's just not my thing. But I didn't I didn't dislike it, though, so it's just not something I'll follow over myself to get. But I think I will be trying to procure another scent that I like. And if you recall, I, I did the uh, review on a prototype that he did called uh, uh, Meditation. I really like that one, and he's improved the scent since then, since I tried it. So I'm really excited to uh, maybe get my hands on that one. So, um, yeah. All in all, great stuff. Uh, underrated product, underrated artisan. Thank you for watching, and please consider liking the video and subscribing if you have not. Please comment below if you've had any experience with Silisky soaps and want to put in your two cents. I'll see you next time. Anyone,